Recording? Yeah. All right. Tanner, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Can I use a board, too? Yeah. If you need to erase. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, can everybody see this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. All right, you ready? Make uh, sure you introduce yourself. Ready? Tanner, mm -hmm. ready? All right, go. Okay, um, my name is Keishawn Washington. Uh, today, I'm pretty much going to show you guys how to, how pretty much I went from gaining money off of spending about a thousand bucks with this computer, or laptop, I should say. Um, I bought this laptop for 200 bucks, and I also bought a MacBook for 700 bucks, and uh, pretty much I learned that I have wasted most of my money. And the reason is because most people say you don't want to use a Chromebook, especially in school. Ironically, I was told by another teacher when I decided to do this project that Chromebooks aren't the best choice when it comes to a uh, laptop for school. And that's because Chromebooks are kind of like the, um, let's say, baby to computers. It's like when we try to, you know, compete with PS4 and Xbox. Uh, you're like competing with two titans that's been around forever. So it's relatively new, and because of that, it kind of lacks in programming, uh, and it's not very resourceful. And um, that's where the Linux program comes in. That is a program, it's a midway platform between your software and your hardware, and that's what makes PC, things like uh, PC, HP, Mac so powerful, and it's what leaves Chromebooks kind of in the dust. So. Yeah. So this, what I'm going to show you guys, is a way to make your Chromebook more accessible and stronger in competition with other strong, uh, you know, computers of your choice. So pretty much what you want to do is, it's very simple, very easy, it'll make you feel like a hacker. Uh, pretty much there is a program called Linux. Now, every Chromebook comes with the beta of Linux, but it's not actually on the program. Don't worry, but it's still completely legal, completely safe. And um, you can still get it onto your computer. Depending on how strong your computer is, your connection is, it'll determine how long it takes. That's why I'm gonna also use the board just to save you guys some time. So pretty much what you wanna do is open up your settings and basically, Basically, open up your settings. If you don't see the Linux beta, it probably just means your Chromebook is like not updated. So all you have to really do is just update that, and you should be able. It should pop up. Now, what you want to do is go to your settings, okay? And then you want to go to that Linux beta, and you know it's very simple. You just hit download. It'll download. It'll take about three, four minutes, and then you'll get this screen. I try to make it as big as possible for everyone to see. This black little screen. That's where all the magic happens. So, pretty much. When you're at this screen, that's your portal that's going to allow you to access an app that allows you to get all the apps and uh, applications for your Chromebook that you usually couldn't get, that you can get just off rip by uh, Mac and PC and stuff like that, and Windows and all that. So once you're at this window, you're just going to want to type in uh, a pseudo app update. And um, that's going to run through. It's going to actually continue, yes or no. You're just going to hit yes. Uh, after it does that, then you're going to want to do a sudo app disk upgrade. So it's going to be sudo apt disk, D-E-I-S-T dash update. And that's going to get your program ready to install. Four minutes the most up-to-date things. So, after you do that, like I said, depending on your download speed, it could take anywhere from three minutes to 20 minutes. Uh, after you do that, now you're ready to actually install the marketplace where you're able to download all these things that you wouldn't normally be able to download on the Chromebook. And to do that, all you're gonna need is a sudo, it's called GNOME. That's the best one I found, just personally, just for me. So, you're gonna wanna type in every sudo oh, apt install gnome 
It's called the gnome. That's what people call it. It's the gnome. Uh, so for the sake of conversation, and then you want to put software. Ten seconds. Gnome package kit. Five minutes. Wrap it up. Okay. And after that, pretty much, you just go through downloading. So after you, if you want to continue again, you'll say hit yes. All you have to do is reset your uh, laptop, and when you open it up, you'll be able to access your portal on said laptop through an app, and you'll be presented with a marketplace that allows you to install things like Word, Document, uh, Adobe Flash, and all that fun stuff. But pretty much after I learned that, I uh, sold. 530. Sorry, you gotta stop. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sold my $700 laptop. And now I just use this. So thank you. <laughs>